this is a pipe review on McLean pipes. This here is the halfling pipe. I also have their flagship pipe, the flagship model pipe, which is known as the wizard pipe. I myself love these pipes. They are handcrafted to order. Each one is made out of either a cherry or an ash bowl and stem. Though you can get the bowl in Briarwood. I have found that the quality and the craftsmanship of each of these pipes is very nice indeed. They fit the fantasy genre, the renaissance genre, uh, quite well actually. The look of the pipe is what I think is absolutely superior over a variety of other name pipes or handmade pipes that are out there, which includes Luna and there's one other one out there. I can't think of the name of it right now. Not saying that those pipes aren't any good. They are quite good, I'm sure. But there's just a look. There's just something about the McQueen pipe that I really like the look of. Now, every rose, of course, has a thorn, per se. And the thorns, when it comes to the McQueen pipes, is that the bowls tend to be shallow. Average bowl is well over an inch deep per pipe. The Halfling pipe here is three quarters of an inch deep at least, maybe even less than that. The wizard pipe's bowl is equally as shallow. Gives you about half hour at the most uh, smoke. The um, other things I don't like about the McQueens is that they take forever to get. Because they are handcrafted to order, there's about a month and a half wait on that part of it. The mailing time after that can take months. I'm not quite sure why, but it does. The thing is that once you get the pipe, they tend to smoke, at least my impression, is that they tend to smoke so well that you forget the, the time that it takes. So that's the thing is, is about the McQueen pipes. You find the one that you like on the website, order it, send me your money, and then forget about it. It will take months and months and months to show up. When it shows up, it'll be a delightful surprise. But the problem is that $60 a pop, somebody like me doesn't really want to wait that long. And it gets rather impatient to do so. Well, still, they're a very satisfying pipe of The interesting part about the uh, half of the pipe is that the draw is from the center of the bottom of the bowl. Much like the one of those bash types, this is supposed to give it a much more superior uh, smoking experience. I find it to be just uh, somewhat better. It burns the tobacco much more evenly, much nicer, but that's about all I can give it. The uh, wizard pipe doesn't have that, it just simply cuts in for, for, from the side like a standard pipe. And it's uh, cut well enough that they're usually, from what I can tell, they usually know well to it at all. Another plus for McQueen pipes. So all in all, I'll have to give high marks on the McQueen pipes. Past the um, time that it takes to get it, it's, it's a very much a well worth to get kind of pipe. I will say, be warned of the wizard pipe. Excuse me. The thing I found about the wizard pipe is that it's considerably a long stem. Considerably longer than, say, the halfling pipe. Now, this halfling pipe is only uh, uh, 14 inches, which means you can sit at a table, like where I'm at right now, and be fine with it. it just, it's a okay. The wizard pipe is so much longer that the stem, you end up fighting with the stem. So, to smoke it, you almost have to plan where you're going to be sitting, or at least angle yourself so the pipe is never quite there, poking you in the face because the bowl wants to sit on the table. It makes for a great pipe when you're walking. 
because the stem is so long and your arm is not angled up all the time holding the thing because it's so much longer that your arm is actually at a comfortable distance from you. So I would say it's a wonderful pipe for just roaming around or just sitting in a chair where you're not near a table or something. But if you're going to be sitting at a table or anything else on the line, makes it a bit, a bit of a pain to wrap. Now, the other thing is this. Because the stem is so long, putting this wizard pipe into a portable pipe stand the, the weight is so counterbalanced off because of the length of the stem it just falls around out of most pipe stands. And this particular one right here, because the bowl is so pudgy, it also doesn't want to sit into a standard pipe stand either. Maybe you could say that's another uh, bad mark against McQueen's, but frankly, I like the look. I like the, the design of it. I think it's much closer to my ideal of a renaissance, hobbity, skadian style pipe. So, tweet you up. Give it a try, look them up on, on the website. You'll find that their prices are about uh, equal to most other uh, hand-done renaissance pipe types uh, manufacturers. And see what you think. I myself like it. Like it a lot, actually. Write down your comments below. See what the rest of the pipe community has to say. And uh, pass around with different comments. But for me, I do like the, the look and the style. Thank you.